Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and today we are gonna take a look at the Sun Sun mod and what this mod does is it adds in a brand new dimension, an awesome boss fight, some more mobs, and unique weapons and armor as well. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to make is the fire protected set. It is very important because the boss is super difficult, so you're going to need this. So what you need to craft are fire protected layers. You will need leather, diamonds, and iron ingots, and that will make you two fire protected layers. And the recipes for these are all the same as normal Minecraft except for the helmet. You look right here, you're going to need seven fire protected layers and glass in the middle for the helmet. The other one's exactly the same as normal Minecraft. You just use fire protected layers as you can see right here. So we'll grab this and put it on. There's actually a set bonus if you have the whole set on right here. So take a look and we have fire resistance. Very important. The boss shoots fire arrows at you. So you'll need that. And if you're wondering how strong it is, it is slightly better than diamond armor. So diamond armor isn't going to go very well against the boss in this mod. So the next thing is really interesting. You can take all the weapons of normal Minecraft and all the tools and you can improve them. So what you'll need is carbon fiber. And all you do is take the tool and put it under it like that and it makes a better version of it. So what you would do is you would put the diamond pickaxe under three carbon fibers and now you have a carbon covered diamond pickaxe. I haven't seen anything like this before, but it's really cool. It increases the durability by 50% and the efficiency is increased slightly as well. So you have like an improved version of any weapons or tools you'd like to use. If you're curious how to make the carbon fibers, it's very simple. You're gonna need paper and you're gonna need carbon liquid. To make the carbon liquid, you will need carbon dust and that is gonna come from the blocks you're gonna see in the other dimension, which are right here. And you'll put it in a furnace, just smelt it like that. And that is going to give you carbon liquid. So you just need the carbon liquid and the paper and you can make carbon fiber. And that is how you're going to improve all your tools and your weapons. There are some other items that are really interesting as well. The first one is the sun fake chest block. And the recipe for this is two diamonds, two emeralds, two gold ingots, and two iron ingots, and a chest in the middle. So it's very expensive to make this, but it can be well worth it. It's actually like a trap. But in the middle, you can get an awesome block. It's going to give you a random block that's either gold, diamond, emerald, or iron. So you put it down, and if you right-click it, lava everywhere. So underneath that, there is a block, a random one you're going to try to get to. All right, guys, so I poured a bucket of water on it so we can see what it is. It is a gold block, and it is completely random, so it could be worth it. Or you can kind of get screwed of your diamonds and emeralds if you end up with just the gold block. There is also one amazing weapon, and that is the Sun's Sun Saber. It drops off the boss, and has a bunch of unique things you can do with it. Right now, I can walk on water, like right, like this. It turns it all to glass, which is awesome. I can like cross an ocean with this on. And if you hit R, it switches it to a different mode. You can now shoot fire. And you're probably thinking it's just gonna shoot a little fireball and start a fire, but it's actually amazing and extremely powerful. I'll just shoot one, just to show you. I mean, bam! That is awesome! I mean, it uses some durability, but you can shoot out at least 50 of these before you run out of durability on it. So, I mean, you can, like, destroy everything! It is awesome! What an amazing weapon! <laughs> that is so sick! I love it so much! Alright, and we can switch it now so it can control the time of day. So, if you see the sun right there, if I right-click, it's gonna move. It has one more mode, so if I hit R again, I can now slay anything. And this does a ton of damage, you're gonna see right here. 50 damage, that is amazing. So it's like the most powerful weapon ever. And it's got all these different modes that you can go into. Walk on water, kill anything, shoot giant fireballs, and even change the time of day. All right guys, I have switched into survival for the next part. This mod adds in four different mobs. So we are going to grab a sword. I will take the iron sword that is carbon covered and I'll show you guys exactly how they work. The first one is the sun zombie. And when this one spawns, it could like summon other zombies as well and up to four of them. So you need to be careful. They have 40 hit points each, so they aren't very difficult, but you need to be careful because four of them are going to end out after you at the same time. It's pretty crazy. And of course, they are immune to fire, so don't even bother. They can be out during the day and still kill you. The second one is the Sun Skeleton, and he will shoot fire arrows at you. Of course, he is immune to fire as well. You can see the arrows coming at me right now. But luckily, I have this gear on that protects me with fire resistance. 
He has 40 hit points as well, so pretty difficult. You're gonna get lit on fire if you don't have some kind of resistance against this skeleton. The next one is the Sun Spider. And this one can actually spawn lava, so you need to be really careful. One thing I want to throw out, guys, is that um, don't build your house out of wood with this mod. It's just going to burn down. All these mobs are, like, shooting fire at you. Like, he just put lava on the ground. He's got 32 hit points. Be careful of this spider. He will really try to kill you. Putting lava all over the place, they'll just burn your house down. So be very careful. All right, the last mob is the Sun Creeper. And what this one does is he tracks fire. So be careful of that. Lots of fire is going to be all around the lands. Once again, lighting your home on fire. He's got 40 hit points and he's dead. That's how you get rid of him. You're probably wondering how to create this portal. You can see it is made out of two different blocks and it's like much skinnier than a normal portal. A person can barely fit into there. So what you're going to need is obsidian and a lava bucket to create the sun portal frame. But you're going to need mostly those. And you will need one sun portal frame base block. You'll need a sun portal frame block, an ender pearl, and a button to create that. And with that one, it either goes in the bottom left corner or the bottom right. It doesn't matter. You only need one of them. And then you right click on it, and it lights your portal. And one thing that's really interesting about this mod is it actually has to be facing the sun. It has to be in the direction of the sun. If I happened to have the portal facing towards the mountains, it wouldn't even light. So it's kind of cool. I like it. It's very unique. So we are going to jump in and check out the boss. It is super difficult. So luckily, I have this gear on, but I will still die. You can see right here, he is over there in the middle. And we're just in an area completely filled with lava. And there's some spots that you can, like, jump up on. Because he's going to try to knock you into there. He shoots fire arrows at you. Which are probably about to start coming right now. And we're in here. We're in the lava. As you can see, very difficult. He shoots at you like crazy without fire resistance. This would be nearly impossible. All right, guys. I'm going to try to get close enough to the sun boss to show you his devastating status effects. It's really easy to use, like, the corners around here to get close. Other than that, it's very hard to fight melee style against him. So he should be close enough right now. And there we go. Hold on. Switch back quickly before we die. And we have night vision, wither, nausea, and blindness. It's, it's basically an automatic death. It is a devastating attack by him. And um, it may actually kill you in creative as well, which has happened to me already multiple times. Trying to get away from him. He just keeps putting it on over and over again. And we're all right. He's that strong. He can kill me in creative mode. The best way to fight the sun boss is most likely using these corners to get close to him and shooting with ranged. And he actually does not have fire resistance on. You could knock him in the lava, but if you do, you won't get his drop. Like, he just fell in right there. You don't want that. He's the one who drops the awesome weapon that has all those unique abilities on it. As you guys can see, he has 250 hit points. And I'm just going to finish him off right now to show you guys what happens after he is dead. If you haven't noticed already, when you enter this dimension, you cannot leave it. There is no portal to get out of here. But once you kill the sun boss, a portal will appear. So you can finally escape this deadly land. Alright, he is about to die. And he has dropped it. The amazing weapon and tons of experience as well. You see right here, 140 levels of experience. That is amazing. And there is the portal to leave this area. One of the weird things you're going to notice about the Sun Sun Saber is sometimes it speaks to you. If you see right here, right after I killed the boss, it said, Have I ever told you how strong you look defeating the Sun's boss? So it's kind of like an interesting, unique thing about this weapon. But that is about all there is to show with this mod. It adds in an awesome boss fight. Mobs, weapons, and armor. If you enjoy a good adventure, you're definitely going to enjoy this mod. If you want to download it, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.